So, I think it would be a damn shame after playing a game like this in a Dunkirk and a game like that that you just saw in Richelieu, I think it would be kind of blasphemy to not play the daddy, the Jean Bard. God, I hate this camel. Looks so terrible. So let's let's take it up one more level. We're jumping into a tier nine, and the major difference between this and the other two is this thing gets a gun reload booster. Very fun and helpful. Listening to you commentary as you play. Go Flambas. Thank you, dude. Aren't Russian BBs also bow tankers? Yeah, but there's a thing with Russian battleships. They do not have faster reloading guns than others. In fact, some have slower reloading guns than average because they have higher caliber guns than average. The thing about French battleships is they usually get uh, lower caliber guns than average, but they reload faster. And if you can, if I can shoot twice for the time that you shoot once and I caught you in a bad spot, I'm going to punish your mistake twice or at least have two times the chance of punishing your mistake. If you catch me, you get to punish me if once I get to punish you twice. And I do like playing these ships in a way that I can catch people's mistake and react very fast and try to exploit uh, that as much as I can. And the Jean Bart is pretty much a sum up of uh, a lot of these features that I like. Bow tank, it has a speed boost, which means you can really quickly move in and out. And it's got a reload booster. Like, what more do I need? What more do I need? Uh, we will go on the all the way on the left side, considering that's where we spawned, and we are gonna speed boost there as well. Because, let's face it, if map border is on your side, that's 100% no chance of anyone coming from that flank. Honey Badger, thank you for three, welcome to Silver. Now I start to understand why I'm such a bad player. That's great! That's, that's really good. That's really, really good, because if you understand what you're doing wrong, that's a very important and first step into making yourself a better player. Or better whatever. Understanding of mistakes is a lot more important than just getting lucky sometimes and having a good game. Because once you start to understand what it is you're doing wrong, you will start seeking for answers and solutions on how to get better. Once you find them, and you probably will if you look, you can start applying them yourself. So that's great. A lot of people don't understand when they're doing mistake, and that's horrible. You've been speaking English every day for hours now for so long. Do you ever confuse or forget either English or Croatian words from time to time? Yeah, I do. I do. Like, mm, very often, um, when I talk with Mrs. Citadel, we talk in English. It's just a thing we do. But um, it happens when I talk to some, some of my friends or, or family. I start to explain something and then you start using a bit more complex words. Not just regular words that you use in everyday language. But you start using some terms. And you can't remember it. And then you, you like, I'm just going to say it in English. <laughs> and then I start feeling like a stranger. Like a tourist. It's so funny. Always on the lookout for shots of opportunity. That's 10.2k on that Iowa. Look at that. Look at that broadside. I'm, I'm even contemplating. Yeah, I am going to do it. I'm going to turn on that gun reload booster. And considering he's ignorant enough to give us that full broadside. We're going to do that booster. And he's shooting so he cannot exactly go stealth that easy. We're going to snap this volley, which I don't know if it's going to be of any use. Okay, another seven and a half. 
j I, I shot that way sooner than I normally would just because he was about to go behind the island and I would waste four or five seconds of reload booster. We're gonna turn in a bit to give the least amount of broadside to Iowa and now he can't shoot us because of the island. We smack him for another 9k and now I'm wondering do I go here or do I go here? I would preferably go here because that gives me more chances of catching them on the broadside. But that would also mean that I'm going to give a broadside to that Iowa. From really, really close range. So we're not going to do that. We're going to shoot the Leon. And I'm going to regret it instantly after seeing that Ibuki broadsiding again. And now I'm thinking, do I stop here as I originally planned? Or do I use the momentum that this Alzas is creating for us? Which means he's probably going to pay the ultimate price. But I'm thinking, can I cash in on that? I'm waiting a bit. He's giving broadside again. He's probably launching more torpedoes. Dispersion horrible. Dispersion absolutely horrible. The safest way would be to go like this now. Because that's the least, the smallest chance of actually running into torps. But I want to shadow this Alzas. Because he will scout torpedoes for us. I will not give up on the idea of shooting Ibuki because he is the torpedo spammer, HE spammer, and an easy kill. Finally, he's out of the equation. But he predicted very fucking well what the Alzus was gonna do. And like I said, Alzus paid the price, but I made sure that we cash in on that. And it's a trade. It's a tier 9 battleship for a tier 9 cruiser. God, I'm gonna actually have to turn that those fires down just so that I can hear my own thoughts otherwise I probably wouldn't I'm keeping an eye out on that Vichita but there will be no Vichita soon I don't want to get too close to that Iowa Wow Nice man I don't want to get too close to Iowa so he doesn't ram me, but then again, watching what's on my right, I'm going to have to. I'm going to absolutely have to risk it, because I'm going to get blown up and burned down if I stay here. My team is somehow uh, very much losing this. We killed one of their DDs and two of their cruisers for one of our cruisers and two of our battleships. I don't really know if that's, if that's a good trade or not. I couldn't take any more lead. But that looks relatively good. No, okay. All right, now we're just gonna wait a bit, see what the Leon is gonna do. He's turning in. Okay. Let's see if we can get the Iowa down. They lost a second destroyer. That's perfect. There's no carriers. There's no DDs. We can only get torpedoed by cruisers, who we can pretty much see. That's very nice. Let's make sure we get rid of the Iowa while Leon is out of the equation. Damage one of her guns. That's awesome. She dead. Now we switch our focus to him. And we wait. I'm not gonna go... Ooh. Ooh, that broadside. But that broadside is a bait. If I do that broadside, then I give broadside to all of them. And all of them would start shooting at me immediately plus Leon would be behind my back so as much as I'd love to just go out and punish that I have to be patient and I have to wait because remember if you're impatient because the game is coming to a close you're just giving the chance to enemy team to actually come back we permanently blew one of his turrets it's not one of the rear it's the middle one okay so we effectively made a normandy out of him he's gonna give me more broadside i'm undetected because of rocks please kill him i don't want to waste a gun reload booster for just one volley on leon but i will because if i kill him with this volley the next one can go for Iowa, who is still broadsiding. Okay, that didn't work. But this should work a bit better. 
She's probably not afraid of me because I just fired gun reload booster. Use flash. We're immediately gonna start reversing. Remember, I'm still giving broadside to Dead Leon, who I was hoping was gonna die. But broadsiding Iowa, or killing a tier 7 battleship that's crippled and is persistently shooting a Chi, I go for a broadsiding top tier battleship. Which, if she continues, one more wall is gonna be all we need. Yeah, I was afraid my turrets were going to start paying this price of wild tanking. One citadel, two citadels, no citadels. Okay, Leon suffered. The end, now it's just the okay, Iowa. I repaired the gun because I absolutely needed to kill this Iowa ASAP. She's not shooting HE at me. She, her secondaries ran out of range, Leon is dead, so chance of being set on fire was pretty low and I wanted to get the guns back in action as soon as I can. Uh, now it's just Drake on this side, so we're just gonna go and cap, the, cap their home base and wait for Drake to show up. I didn't exactly have the opportunity to fight against Drake yet, so were detected so he is close there he is okay. I think I'm actually gonna slow down here 12.9 I can shoot him once and then I'm gonna slow down to actually cap their base before we continue Ooh. soft ass huh I don't know. I could start chasing Drake and catch Musashi on the broadside. Or I could cap this. We're gonna heal. We're gonna stop. Cap is already half cap. Drake ain't gonna get away. That Musashi is pretty healthy as well. And he's a survivability expert. My butt is tight, thank you very much. <laughs> I got got in. That cut the time required. And let's go. Bidger Cracks, thank you for the sub. Welcome to the team. Brindisi is probably not gonna. Well, maybe. I mean, it's Brindisi and Shores. Jesus, Drake is soft. I remember Goliath being very, very tanky from testing it and Drake not. And that was disappointing, but if he's getting punished this hard by 380s, what about the rest then? What about the bigger caliber guns? How's that gonna feel? Oh, I'm suddenly getting a pretty bad dispersion. That one... That one was all I needed. Now this is gonna be like, I'm gonna use my guns and I'm gonna kill secure that guy. Don't blame him, I'd probably do the same. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. Okay, we got rid of Drake. Brindisi is gonna get put down any second. I'm not gonna shoot him. I'm just looking. There we go. Alright. Now we're just charging at a Musashi. But I will try to do this so-called charging. Instead of like this, where he can easily turn towards me, bow in, and then it's John Bart versus Musashi in direct fight, where he's got three times more HP than I do. Uh -uh -uh. I'm gonna try and do it like this, and hoping he's gonna go like this, so I have his broadside. Yep, he's turning in. I don't have any more heals, so sustaining this guy in direct conflict is not something that I want to do. That did nothing. Do you mind playing Thunder at all? I can see how you aim, as you are better than me. Thunder? Sure. There's no point in me shooting at him now. I'm not gonna do much damage. 
I'm pretty sure he's gonna give the more broadside very soon. There you go. There you go. There you go. It's all about the angles, baby. And then you do that. Okay. Unfortunately, look at the time. I'm using my last reload booster right now, even though I wouldn't use it otherwise. But when I see the points, I know there's gonna be over soon. So I'm, at this point, I'm just trying to push out as much damage as I can before the game ends. And it's actually paying off. I thought he was gonna turn completely away, but he's not. He turned only slightly. And that actually did pay off. There we go. And that's John Bart. So now you have Richelieu, you have... Sorry, you have Dunkirk, Richelieu, and John Bart. You have all three. Once again, pretty good game. We have Confederate, Fireproof, Dreadnought, High Caliber, one solo cap, nine Citadels, two kills, one plane, 263 damage. People very often ask me, why do you like John Bart so much? I like exploiting people's mistakes. I like to be there when they think I'm not there. <laughs> 42 on Drake, 35 on Ibuki, 60 on Iowa, 54 on Musashi, 47 on Leon, and 22 on Iowa. We pretty much single-handedly took most of these ships down. Only 1 million potential tanked, though, and that's probably largely due to fires. Be yeah, damage received, 33k lost to fires. Usually, when you don't have a lot of potential but you lost a lot of HP, that's because you were burning, and burning does not count towards potential. As always, thank you for the sub, welcome to the team. So yeah, that was a GG, that was a GG. If we weren't as effective, this game would not have been five to one when it ended. I think this could have been a lot worse. So yeah, 